Okay, so today is Monday, and I know I haven't posted an update in a while, but that's because I've been busy and out of town and other things. So, anyway, we're starting outside today, and I'm going to do two videos because this might take a little while. We've been quite busy. Actually, over the weekend, we hit it really hard, and we're hurting really bad now. Um, we clean up the driveway area, which I'm going to post an actual still photo of. Um, we got all the leaves out of the flower bed over that way and um, I spent a bunch of time cleaning out that bed uh, over the weekend too which is tons of work because there were little grape hyacinths in it and they're bulbs and they just are impossible to get rid of and then yesterday I worked over this flower bed um, which was just full of weeds and we have that many bags of leaves which is a lot and I thought we should just put them on that bed which is all full of leaves and kill the weeds like that so yeah that's what we're doing this is our trash heap. We add to it regularly. Eventually we're going to have to make another dump run, but um, we have an old screen door, the carpet from upstairs, a bunch of boxes, a lot of bleach bottles, just, you know, a lot of good stuff. Um, we went through the garage again over the weekend. So you can see this is the, the full side, and then my car actually fits in there now, which is exciting. Um, this is the empty side and we still have to do a little bit of rearranging and putting things away and I have to plant these daffodil bulbs before they die um, so there's that and then we still have the oil tank to get rid of don't tell anybody we don't know what we're going to do with that um, and we mowed the lawn this weekend however um, as we move around to what I have termed the back 40 you can see um, this area is very much like a country meadow um, these weeds here are approximately waist high, um, so is the grass. This is the area that we someday envision to be a vegetable garden, but um, you can see it's kind of far from that at this point. Um, that's our burn pile, which we won't be burning. Um, we have to drag that out to South Stage Road, where Todd's parents have the ranch, and dump it somewhere out there. Um, let's see, what else? We're thinking we're probably going to have to chop down the tree on the right, which is that one right there. Um, it's dead at the top, and it's just really mucky, um, bad shape. So we're going to have to take that one down. And then also, kind of unfortunately, uh, this cedar tree has started to look really unhealthy. So we're going to have to probably cut that one down too. And, and also the magnolia, which I was hoping we'd be able to keep, but it's just really messy. Like... Todd just mowed the lawn yesterday, and you can see there are leaves everywhere. So we're thinking that might have to go too, and plus it kind of shades the whole pool, which is one of our nice features. Um, I did some planting. I planted some dwarf dahlias a couple of weeks ago. Um, so those are the little plants in front, and those will grow to be pretty decent sized. And then the honeysuckles are still doing well, so that's good. Um, and Kat and Michelle, here's your requested pool tour. Um, we have, let's see, I'm going to open the gate so I can, no, I guess I'm not. Um, we have our shack, which is where our filter and stuff is, and we're going to paint that white over the summer because, I mean, it's pretty ugly right now. And we have our pool, which is covered with a tarp right now because there's some sort of chemical in it and they didn't want to get rain in it. So that's what that is doing, and we have our canoe back there because um, Todd's parents said get it out of their yard and um, so this is the pool patio area let me walk down over here and you can take a bigger better look at it um, so there's I don't know it's probably like 10 feet of grass over there um, and a tiki torch and then so we have a pretty good sized patio um, with a nice big swamp in the middle. And then lastly, before we go inside in the next video, um, this is where I was planning on planting a bunch of morning glories because um, you can see we have this chain link fence which only goes up, it's like five feet tall, um, which will make a really nice trellis for some morning glories. So that's that and you can see our lawn looks a lot better mowed and our Oregon grape has a bunch of new growth on it, so things are coming along.